Hey guys, long time no see again. I'm sorry. I never mean to be away from YouTube this long, but I am just so shockingly bad at time management. Anyway, I have been working all day and all night, like literally, I'm not even exaggerating, on getting my book finished. In case you guys don't know, I'm writing a book on how to be self confident in the social media era, and I have almost got it finished and it's almost going to be published. And I am so bloody excited. But anyway, that's why I have not been making YouTube videos. I'm sorry, but I'm here and back. In today's video, we are diving back into the realm of social media versus reality. This is a series of video that I have been doing on my channel because I think it is hugely important that we talk about this. I think it's imperative that we break down the illusion of social media perfection and dismantle these unrealistic, impossible beauty standards. Before we get into the video, I want to say a massive thank you to one of my sponsors of this series, Care Of. I have been using and working with Care Of for over a year now, intermittently. What makes them different and what makes them stand out from the rest of the numerous vitamin brands out there is that Care Of tailor the vitamins to you that you uniquely, individually need and they just make it so bloody easy. So what you do, you go on their website, you fill out like a five minute quiz. In the quiz, they ask you questions about your diet, your lifestyle, your health concerns, and they'll know then what vitamins and supplements that you need in order to achieve your health and wellness goals. So the Care Of vitamins that I take are Calcium Plus and rhodiola. Because I eat a plant-based diet, these vitamins will kind of help fill in the gaps. So your specific individual vitamins are delivered to you in this cute cardboard box and then you just slip out a little sachet every day and take your little set of vitamins and you're done. It's so easy. These are compostable. They are made out of ingredients like wood pulp, cassava, sugarcane, and corn. And if you already take vitamins and supplements and you're in the market for maybe a different brand or if you're just kind of intrigued and want to know more, if you head on over to Care Of's website, you can take the quiz and you'll find out what vitamins they recommend for you. You can also use the code Stephanie and that'll get you guys 50% off your first month's order. So the topic of this video is Khloe Kardashian. Now I just want to make it abundantly clear this is not a drama video. If you're here for a drama video or like bashing video of Khloe, you're not going to get that here. Sorry to disappoint you. And if you also live under a rock like I tend to do a lot of the time, you may not know what is going on with Khloe Kardashian. You may not even care, but if you do, a video surfaced of Khloe that was unretouched, unedited, and Khloe and her team lost their shit and scrambled to get this photo taken down off the internet. So it was a pretty extreme response to a pretty innocuous photo. Honestly, when I first heard about this, I was expecting the photo to be absolutely horrendous. I was expecting like a sneaky paparazzi, like spying through the bushes, getting like really invasive angles kind of picture. So when I saw the actual picture in question, I was like, what is all the fuss about? Like you look good. The picture is simply Chloe basking in the sunlight with a content, happy smile on her face, looking amazing and fit and strong in a bikini. Like I do not personally see the issue with that photo. So once this image was shared online, Chloe then came out with like a rebuttal, a response to that, which I actually thought was really heartfelt and kind of broke my own heart because I know how she feels to a certain extent. In her rebuttal, she says that she is so sick of being pulled apart for her appearance. She's being called the ugly sister, the fat Kardashian, that she's had every insecurity and imperfection pulled apart by the media, which to be fair, she has. And she's essentially saying that she has every right to post the pictures of herself that she wants to post and that nobody should be able to post a picture of her that she's not happy with, which I fully agree with. Now, I think we can all relate to Chloe on this issue in some respects. Like I doubt all of us have unwavering confidence. We all want to look good in photos, especially on social media where we know other people are going to be seeing them. We all put up photos that are in good lighting where we're, you know, working out angles or posing how we know we look best because we want to look our best and there's nothing wrong with that. Also, another important note that I think does deserve to be mentioned in this video is that whilst Chloe is complaining about an unauthorized picture surfacing on the internet, which let's be real, should never happen, yet she did the exact same thing to Chloe Moritz. Do you guys remember back in 2016 when Kim Kardashian and Taylor Swift were having a row, Chloe Moritz chimed in on Twitter with this gold nugget. Everyone in this industry needs to get their heads out of a hole and look around to realize what's actually happening in the real world. Stop wasting your voice on something so petulant and unimportant. I love that. So eloquently put. However, Chloe Kardashian obviously did not appreciate that tweet because she fired back. Is this the a-hole you're referring to? So Chloe tweeted a picture which she obviously thought was Chloe Moritz, which is actually not a flattering picture because you can almost see her bum hole. Clearly her swimmers are askew and it's not the kind of picture that any woman would want online, especially when the picture is being used to essentially insult you. I just think that is so disrespectful and wrong to do that to another woman. And at the time, Chloe Moritz was only 19 years old and Chloe Kardashian was 32. Like at that age, you know better. Like I'm 32 and I wouldn't do that. Not to mention the fact that Chloe once referred to Jordan Woods and her ex-cheater partner, Tristan Thompson, as a fat f***ing 
asshole. It seems a little bit, a little bit hypocritical to shame another woman on her weight when you yourself have struggled with your weight in the past. Now in Chloe's rebuttal to the picture that surfaced online, she put up some videos of her body Essentially, I guess, trying to prove to the naysayers that, no, she doesn't look like this normal woman that you see here. She actually does, in fact, look like the airbrush-filtered fembot that is a Kardashian. However, I've seen online a lot of people are speculating that this video is, in fact, filtered as well. And I know that's probably going to blow a lot of people's minds because everyone knows that you can edit pictures. Like, we all know that. But not everybody realizes that you can also edit videos as well. And a prime example of this is Chloe's dear old sister, Kendall. Kendall posted this video onto her Instagram where she's posing and trying to show how, you know, Perfect she is. Yet if you look closely, you can see that she's actually using a filter here or she has edited the video in some way to make herself look slimmer. That absolutely gobsmacked me because Kendall is literally a supermodel. She is already so slim and yet even she feels the need to filter and edit her videos to look even slimmer. I just look at that and I think how damaging is that to the young girls that follow the Kardashians and the Jenners online and think that this stuff is real and compare themselves to that. On a personal level, I feel for Chloe because I know what it's like to grow up as the ugly sister. That was me, that was my life journey. My siblings are all absolutely like stunning. They're tall, they're blonde, they're perfect, and then there was a short little awkward me. And I've kind of taken the ugly sister role and carried it with me through my life up until now. And it's only now that I'm 32 that I've actually learned what true self-confidence is. I have seen the bashing that Chloe gets in the press. Like Eminem said that she was like the ugly Kardashian. Apparently Trump said the same thing. Magazines are constantly hounding her. So I think in a lot of ways, all of us can kind of see ourselves in Chloe with her self-confidence struggle, especially when it comes to body image. However, Chloe herself and her sisters, her entire family almost, are huge contributors to these unrealistic, impossible to live up to beauty standards. Chloe and her family have such a massive influence. Like, if you add up all their Instagram followers, I'm shocking at maths, but this is what I got when I added them all up. 890 million? Is that correct? 890 million people is a lot of people. Now, the thing with Chloe and what makes her so damaging to other women is that whilst, yes, I do agree with her, she should be able to post whatever picture of herself that she likes and I also agree with her that she should be able to edit her pictures if that's what she wants to do. The issue lies in the fact that Chloe has such a massive online influence. She has over 100 million followers, mostly made up of young girls. Now these young girls will compare what they see in the mirror to what they see of Chloe, and they also look up to her. So when Chloe is perpetuating these false beauty standards, it is so damaging to any woman, but especially younger women. The fact that she is so particular about the kind of body images that are posted of her, and the fact that she edits her photos to the degree that she does, is just further pushing the idea to her followers that if you want to be beautiful and you want to be successful and you want to be respected and you want to be worthy as a person, you need to fit these standards. Instead of being proud of her body because her body looks absolutely epic in that unretouched photo that was posted, instead of being proud of her body and saying to her followers, okay, yep, you got me, that's what I look like. She is instead almost insinuating to other women that it's not okay to look like that. If you look like that, you should be embarrassed, you should be ashamed, you should want that image scrubbed off the internet forever. And yet I know so many women that would give their right arm to look like Chloe does in that picture. It's almost as though she's saying to her audience that it's not okay to look like a normal, real, human woman. And the most problematic part about this and what really irks me is that Chloe, whilst posting, you know, very, very posed, very angled, very filtered, possibly edited pictures of her body, she is at the same time pushing and promoting and making money off diet culture. Yes, of course, Chloe has every right to do whatever the hell she wants with her body and she can post whatever photos that she sees fit onto her own social media. That's her right. However, I feel that when your audience and your influence is that big, you do have a certain responsibility to your followers and you do have a certain obligation to be real with your followers. I feel like Chloe missed a really valuable opportunity in which she could have been the bigger woman. I feel like when this picture surfaced, she could have owned up to it and been like, yep, that's what I look like. I'm proud of my body. I work bloody hard for it. She could have also acknowledged the role that she herself and her family play in instigating and perpetuating these unrealistic beauty standards. And I feel like if she wanted to, she could become like a spokesmodel for our generation. She could help other women that have struggled with body confidence issues or, or struggled with confidence issues in general. With her privilege and her influence, she could help all of us feel better about ourselves. Instead, she makes a TV series called Revenge Body. I did watch a few episodes of that TV show and I just feel like that TV show just got it wrong. If you guys haven't heard of Revenge Body, it's essentially a series that revolves around 
women losing weight in order to get revenge on certain people. The way it appeared to me was that it was essentially saying that the women that appeared on that show were more worthy and more beautiful once they lost weight. Like they weren't worthy and beautiful to begin with, but they were. They were perfect. They were beautiful. I feel like Revenge Body made it seem like the women that participated in the show were more valuable and respected after essentially losing weight and changing their bodies in order to fit in with the current beauty standards. Whilst I absolutely feel for Chloe, like I really do, like I said, I know what it feels like to be the ugly sister and kind of grow up always thinking that you're not good enough. I still do believe that Chloe and her sisters play a huge role in perpetuating these unrealistic beauty standards, especially when it comes to body image. One of my followers put it so well, you can't rage against the machine if you are the machine. Now in saying that, I don't believe that anybody should be sending Chloe hate or demeaning her or calling her names or being mean to her in any way, shape or form. At the end of the day, Chloe is just a human being like you and me. She has emotions, she has feelings, she has her own insecurities and it can't be easy being a part of that family and being online and being famous and being subjected to that many people's opinions on what you look like. I know she's rich and famous and in a huge position of privilege, but I do still believe that she deserves kindness as any human being does. I feel like years of being bashed by the media and sometimes even, you know, teased by her own family has clearly made her feel like she's maybe not good enough or like she needs to change herself in some way to be more valuable or or worth more as a person, and I feel like that's really, really sad. Chloe is absolutely beautiful, like she's stunning, she's tall, she's Amazonian, she's curvy, she's got a gorgeous smile, a wicked sense of humor, like she has so much going for her. So I'm gonna leave this video here. Do tell me what you guys make of all this in the comments down below. Please don't be nasty or mean, because that never gets anybody anywhere, but, but I'd be interested to know what you guys think about the whole, you know, beauty standards. Like, do you think the Kardashians actually like perpetuate this? Do you think they have a part to play in these unrealistic beauty standards. Obviously they didn't create them and I feel like in a lot of ways they are just as much victim of these beauty standards as we are. But tell me what you guys think. I'm intrigued to know and I'll be reading all your comments and responding to as many of them as I can. I love your guts and I'll see you in my next video which will hopefully not be three weeks away. <laughs> okay, bye!